All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, first things first, I'm gonna go over. Can everybody hear me first off? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great, great. Yeah, so first thing I'm gonna go Yes, I can and, hear you. Yes, sir. Okay, great. First thing I'm gonna do is go through some of the updates that have been done over the last 24 hours. And uh, from there, I'll be answering questions. So first things first, uh, we added in on the website. If you guys go to the website, either .com, .io, or .net, You'll see on the top, we added in about the CEO section. If you click on this, it'll take you to a site. Um, and uh, basically what this is, it just gives you kind of a quick understanding of why I created uh, Crypto Gem Trading, uh, a little bit on my background, and then you guys can actually book a meeting with me. So I know there's a lot of people that have been asking me about that. Instead of me constantly have to answer DMs, it's much easier to have a place you can go directly and you can book a meeting with me if you want to jump on Zoom uh, with me, we can do that, or we can just have a meeting. If you have a big team and you just want to have a meetup um, with your team, then we can do that. You just have to schedule it with me, fill out the form, and um, we can definitely schedule a meeting. So I've added that section in there. Uh, a lot of people wanted that in. Uh, you guys know about the merchandise. Again, the merchandise has already been added in for uh, Crypto Gem Trading. You guys know that we have our own merch, um, which is the access here from the site. Uh, another thing is we've added in is the NFTs. So we are going to be having our own NFTs. Um, they will be released tomorrow. We've already added the site link to, um, we've added in the link to the tab here on the site under NFTs. Um, but there's nothing there currently, but we're going to be uploading all of our NFT collection uh, over the next 24 hours. Um, all First off, the way that we're generating um, profits right now is by number one trading. So we're utilizing 25 to 50% of the contract balance per week. And we're utilizing utilizing that to do real crypto trading. Uh, secondly is we came out with the merch and the merch, uh, all profits that are generated from the merch also get pumped back into the contract balance or pumped into the contract balance. And also with our NFTs, uh, all the sales of our NFTs, uh, all the, the funds generated through that will also be pumped into the contract balance as well. Oh, so yeah. What this does is it helps to, you know, the more ways that we can generate profits, real profits, uh, the more that the contract balance will grow. And yes, definitely know if she is. Let me know you, if she's coming mute, out. Can you mute your mic, please? So the more things that we can have um, as far as producing profits with, the more we can have to sustain the project long term so we have another few things coming um down the road but as of current those are the three ways that we produce real profits um for the contract is through real trading um the merchandise and then the nfts all right uh, also we've updated the tab for the trading floor on the last uh we had a q a a couple of days ago and people were asking about that because it was leading to an empty page we have now added in and updated it so you'll see here if you click on the trading floor It'll say CGT trading um, is around the corner and it says 50 days. It has a timer on it. OK, so we've updated that as well. Um, we've also updated. We actually removed um, a sentence, the first sentence here from underneath Crypto Gym Trading um, because we're, we're doing more than just trading. It's not just trading. It's a lot of other things that we are uh, with the NFTs and merchandise and a lot of other things that we have coming. So I don't want it to just be focused on trading. We have a lot of multiple different um a lot of ways that we are um, going to be generating profits outside of just trading alone. Okay. Uh, another thing is we coming down to the bottom. We also added that into the roadmap um, is the merchandise launch, which has already been done. And then the NFTs launch, which um, the site is up. It just, we haven't uploaded in, in the, uh, the NFTs yet, but they will be coming over the next 24 hours. Um, we've also updated some of the, um, let me see, removal, um, we've also updated some of the FAQs. So a lot of questions, um, for example, people are asking, when do I get referral rewards? A lot of people wanted to know, do they get referral rewards only on the initial deposit of the referrals or ongoing? So it's ongoing. All right. So we added that into the FAQ. So if you, somebody signs up for your referral link, you're getting 7% on that um, ongoing. That means that if they do another deposit of whatever, you're getting 7% on that. No matter how many deposits they do, you're getting 7% on all their deposits for life, okay? Um, and then, of course, we change what makes it sustainable. Um, we've added in, of course, um, you know, 
The platform sustainability is supplemented by cryptocurrency trading that is distinguished by bot trading along with the sales of our merchandise and NFT. So again, um, as I talked about, all profits generated through trading sales of our merch, sales of our NFTs are pumped back into the contract balance for continuous growth. All right, so we have updated some of the FAQ, so you definitely want to go look at that. Uh, a couple of days ago as well, we did add in terms and conditions along with earning disclaimer. It's something we had to do. You know, I'm operating outside the United States. Um, it is a requirement that I have that on there, especially um, that we're growing now. Uh, definitely had to add in terms and conditions, so you you maybe want to read over this. Um, so real quick, I'm just going to hop over into the terms because I want to go over one important thing. Uh, I've been seeing a few people um, posting about this in the support section of our Discord group and also in the in the in the uh, the main chat. Um, it, it's very simple, guys, when it comes to your deposit. So. It, everything's here in the F in the um, in the terms. All depositors three times other full deposit. All deposit withdrawals requests will have a twelve percent fee, which will be deducted from your full deposit withdrawal. Only full full deposit withdrawals are permitted. No partial withdrawals at this time. Um, upon request, CGT will process deposit with, uh, which will take seven to fourteen days. Uh, during this time, all depositors will continue to receive two percent daily ROI. Once the full deposit withdrawal has been sent to you, you will no longer be earning 2% daily as you have chosen to withdraw your full deposit um, amount from Crypto Gym Trading. Okay, so it's very simply laid out in the uh, terms and conditions. All you have to do is go and read it. Okay, um, what else do we have? Uh, so trading results. Um, trading results, guys. I'm just going to hop back over into our group. So trading results, first off, um, I actually posted this earlier. We talked about it. I talked about it in the um, in the video, but uh, trading results will be posted weekly. Okay, I talked about this on October 9th in this video. Um, they get posted every week. Uh, the next trading, all the trading results, as I posted here, as a reminder, trading results will be posted here on the 13th of this month, showing you um, our trading results for the week. We're only posting once a week. We have so much stuff going on in the background, a lot of things we're doing. We don't have time to sit here and post trading results every second of the day or every day. It's just too much. So we post them once a week. Um, so the next time we post trading results will be on the 13th, which is in a few days. Um, we also have, I know I talked about this in the last Q&A uh, videos. So in the video training section uh, right here, uh, I do have some videos coming out over the next couple of days. I've just been busy in meetings. I haven't had a lot of time, but uh, I will be posting trainings. I know a lot of people want to know about how to make your, um, you know, how to make it uh, non-taxable. Um, and there's different platforms that you can utilize to do that. Essentially, all you're doing is you're just um, using your crypto as collateral. You're borrowing against your crypto and you're getting a loan and lo loans are non-taxable because loans are not earned income. You only get taxed on earned income. Um, so again, I will be, be having video trainings coming out on that over the next couple of days um, as I have time to do them. So that's pretty much it. That's the kind of the updates that I wanted to go over with you guys. So I will start taking questions. Uh, good night, Manny. How you Hello? doing? Yeah, I'm here. I good. I good. I good. Um, just um. My question is uh, for the NFTs. Um, yes. What what are you planning to do with it? Are we going to learn from it, or do we have to sell it to our market? Or what's the um idea behind it? The idea behind so the what? The NFTs. Are we going to earn on it, or when we buy it, or we sell it on an on NFT market? Um, you'll be able to buy and sell. That that'd be completely up to you. If you want to buy and sell, you can. Um. When they're gonna be, we're gonna have, um, I believe, fifty. Uh, I gotta give my one of my guys, but we're probably gonna have a little over fifty minted. So we're probably you're gonna be able to buy and sell them. Well, all, all, all um, generated from that, any any money generated from that will go into the contract balance. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, but but just the buy and hold. Um, in, yeah, not in an anything like that. Uh, what is it? You're not earning on it when you buy it. You're just buying it and holding it as a collection. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Hi, hey, Manny. Manny. Um, you, talked about the, you talked about the loans. 
Uh, yeah, I wanted to know, you mentioned that um, income is taxable loans are not, and you wanted to release a video on that. Well, what yeah, is correct. the context? Yeah, is this going to assist us in any way, the investors, or just a, a awareness thing? Uh, no, it's just it's just to give you guys education on on how you can make your you know your profits that you earn from from crypto gem trading non taxable. You know, if you take if you take what you earn and you send it to your bank to your um you know your bank account, it's it's automatically taxable. But there's a way you can make it non taxable because it's not considered earned income until um you know you're basically just loaning you're you're loaning against you're using your crypto as collateral to loan against it, and loans are non taxable. Oh, awesome. Okay, that would be sweet. Okay. Yeah, and then so this, this will be all, all be done within the platform itself. And this will can be done within the platform itself. Is that accurate? Uh no, you have to create an account with um we're gonna we're gonna be going over this there's three different main um companies that you can go through uh, right online. You can sign up with an account online and um and be able to do that. You can loan against your um your own crypto and, and get a loan, and that is non-taxable. Thank you. Hi, Nanny. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, I have a question. I'm just trying to is there the revenue coming in make the project sustainable long term, or if not, is that uh, is there a time of a frame of time like? Hold on a second. Can can everybody else or whoever else? I hear I hear something in the background. It's kind of distorting his his question. Can can you mute your mics, please? Okay, go ahead. So I just wanted to know uh, if at this point of time the revenue coming in make the project sustainable long term. If not, when are you? Do you that's gonna happen? If like the revenue coming in is gonna be enough to pay off everyone, so the project can keep going, so not to allow new money coming in. Uh, not allowing new money coming in. No, no. So my point is, uh, let's say for example, if there were investors, uh, new investors for the next, I don't know how long. If we, we cut off, if we cut off all investors right now, we could sustain. We don't need any more people to sustain. Okay, that's what I need to know because I know some projects it came before get to that point. That's right, why I'm have a peak. They have a peak, and then when we hit that peak, they they drop down. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, if they're not money. able to to generate okay. enough money, yes. So yeah, you so, think so, so we're at that point right now? Right. So here okay. it's a lot different. That's why I said we're we're doing something way different than anybody else is doing. We're, you know, all, all these other projects that run off smart contracts are only mm -hmm. using the funds that are on the smart contract to pay out everybody, investors, everybody, which that's fine. That's how a smart contract's going to work. It's all the funds are there. That's where your two percent is coming from. That's where referral rewards are coming from. <laughs> all of that. But there has to be something going on in the background that's real profits or bringing real profits to the contract if not um there's going to come a point in time there always does with these projects they hit yeah. a peak and then they just fall because you can't sustain a ponzi scheme for too long um it, it's just not possible there's no way to do it so uh, in order for a project to sustain there has to be something going on in the background that is producing real profits okay all right that's good yeah. to know thank you yeah, to answer your question, yeah. So we, if I cut off right now and not allow any more deposits into the platform and we just stayed with all of the investors that are here now, we could sustain long term. Okay, good to know. Thank you. No problem. Hello? I'm here. How you doing? Can you hear me? Hi, buddy. Can you hear me now? So I'm just getting used to this. Uh, this course just been a little bit challenging for somebody my age. Oh yeah, yeah. We talked on uh, on uh, on Telegram. Yeah, sorry about that. I I had to cut off Telegram because there was just too many scams over there. Um, yeah, I'm 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 learning myself. I'm still learning Discord myself. Okay, a couple of questions. Key questions. Um, Number one, how uh, how how's uh, the trading going? Are you happy? Are you are you uh, looking at the projections and the system? And are you, are you happy with how it's all going? That's number one. 
And uh, number two, I don't think there's enough transparency. We need to know what you eat and what you have for your breakfast every morning, and we need to know what you have for your evening meal. And we need to know what colour socks you have that you put on in the morning. Okay, I can I can go ahead and answer all that right now. So so the to the first question, um, as far as the trading, trading is going good. Um, it isn't going as well as we expected originally um, due to the fact just just the market. Um, of course, you see Bitcoin went down like crazy. Uh, it was yesterday. So, of course, we haven't lost anything. We've been making profits, but of course, not as much profits as we uh, were expected to or expected to. But everything is going well with the tradings. We've been getting um, really good take profits on all the trades. Uh, the bots we're using are working really well. Um, and my trading team is uh, has been doing good at analyzing everything making adjustments as they see as they see fit and uh, the trading is going good so that's that's the answer to that um secondly as far as transparency um i want to know exactly what you mean um uh, as far as the trading going uh what transparency and what from what he was side? No. He was uh, it was it was, a, it, it, was, was my dry sense of humor. it was my dry <laughs> sense of humor i want to know I, yeah, I want to know what breakfast you're having in uh, uh, right. lunchtime and evening. Lunch I want to know what I, I want to know what socks you're wearing, what underpants you're wearing. Exactly. Uh, I'm on, no. <laughs> she gets it. No, it's my English uh, yeah. humor, man. So you have to you have to understand. I have a very very, very dry sense of humor. So just one other serious question. So when this TVL gets bigger, so it goes to say five million and ten million, are you going to be more comfortable yourself personally with the volume of trades? Are going to are you going to have, are basically going to be placing more trades? Does that make your life mentally better? Um, I would say that yes. I would say that the more the bigger the contract gets, as far as you know, funds on the contract, the more. The more trades we can get into and the more money we can put into trades and that's going to help with bigger take profits uh, as a whole. You know, if you it's just like if you only have a 100,000 to put into a trade and, and you get 10 percent on that that one trade take profit um, and somebody has 300,000 and they get 10 percent take profit, you know, we're it, it's they're going to get more than I get because I put put in 100,000. So as as the contract goes up, it's definitely going to help with the you know, the, the take profit as far as uh, more funds are going to go back in as the as the contract gets even bigger. And we're actually putting in now. So as this this monster, which it will be a monster in the next six to 12 months, is going to be huge. The TVL potentially could be 50, 100 million dollars. So it's, it's, it's going to stick it. It's going to stay at the percent you've set. Um, Correct. But, uh, so one one more thing before uh, I'll let you. I didn't mean to interrupt, but before you go forward, one more thing. Um, yes, it's gonna be. It's it's gonna continue growing. That that I do know because we're pretty profits. That's why I can. I'm confident in saying that the contract will continue to grow. Um, we are also coming out with, um, which I'm not sure if it's gonna be to the end of this week. We don't have a set time yet, or it might be to next week. We're coming out with another contract. Um, it is not to take away from this contract. Uh, it's just that we have a lot of people in um, certain countries that like utilizing um, TRC20. So we're creating a contract on the Tron network. So we're going to have this contract, and then we'll also have one on the Tron network. Still going to be in USDT. Same, nothing changes. Um, percentage, everything stays the same. Referrals stay the same. Everything. The only difference is it's going to be on the Tron network. So we'll have two contracts. We'll have two sites. Um Again, both 2%, just one will be on right here on the BNB smart chain and the other one will be on the Tron um, network. And that, that one will be massive. I believe that one will be the contract that grows to the billions um, because uh, I already, just being honest, um, when that contract comes out, I already have over $6 million worth of investors as we speak right now, ready to go. And that's the first Okay, so, so that is- but, well, I want to throw that out well there. you're gonna yeah no i appreciate your uh, listen the main thing is there is other platforms out there i'm not gonna mention particular ones because i get shot down for being a a, a fodder or whatever you want to call it but when you're an when you're an investor you really at least to know at least to know at least to want to know who the person is you, you know you come on you do the zooms people can see you we know where you are you know we we this is the key, as I said to you many, many times. This is the key to your success. If we, if something happens, 
you know, negative or positive, as long as uh, as long as we know whenever you're ready to sh to tell us, then that's the main thing. And at the end of the day, there's going to be more bumps in the road. But all I can say moving forward is this contract's going to go to from two million to four million to eight million to ten million. And I reckon in six months, looking at looking at where it's going at the moment, I say you know 20 30 40 50 million just on this network let alone the uh, trc 20 that you're going to produce so you know right. yeah and, and I, that's that's you know let's go we, we definitely want to continue to grow the contract and main thing is like you said just you know me continuing to be transparent and um you know the thing is i know i know that a lot of people ha have their trust issues and that's um understandable considering the fact that 90 percent of everything out here on in the DeFi space is is, pon is a ponzi scheme and you know a lot of people have been um you know have dealt with rug pulls and scams and exit scams My, me myself um that was you know if you go look at the site for the ceo uh the tab we added um i broke it down in a paragraph but the reason i created CGT was because of that. That's what motivated me to create it. Um, I woke up one day and said, you know what? I'm tired of all this, these damn Ponzi schemes. I'm tired of these exit scams. I said, the people need something that they can, you know, that they can depend on, that they can rely on. That's not going to be here one day and gone the next. So that's what, that was my motivation. My, you know, um, just, just behind creating CGT. So I'm, and, uh, I'm, I, I'm well, listen, and do what I can do to make this project grow. Well, just I just want to say one other thing before I finish and let everybody else speak is that please, whatever happens between now and the next two, three, five years in this in this space with Crypto Gem, however nasty people are to you or however negative or whatever, end of the day, you're going to have an army of people on your side. So for every negative person, you're going to have 200 positive people on your side. Hey, and I believe that. And I really do. And I'm, I get messages every day, DMs from a lot of people um, just thanking me for the project. So I know there's always going to be those people, the negative people. And that's, you know, it's something that comes with with the territory. And I'm I'm, I'm ready to take on whatever comes my way. Um, the only thing that I could say, um, to be honest, that could ever interfere with the growth of this project would be uh, it have to be government, you know, type stuff where. You know, they come looking into things and things like that. And they, you know, for whatever reason, don't like what we're doing. Things like, I mean, that, but that would be, that would be the only thing that would ever, you know, stop us. But I've, I've done everything that I believe um, I should do. You know, I have my financial team in the background um, that is, that, you know, that guides me into the things that I should and shouldn't be doing. So um, I believe that I'm doing everything that I should be doing. But um, that's, other than that, I don't see that, you know, I don't see us, um, I don't see us falling. I see us going in in uh, and growing for from from now for years to come. All right, Manny. Well, I appreciate it. Like I say, um, thank you for everything. Take care. Okay, no problem. Thank you. So, uh, Manny, here's Hello, Antonio Manny. from Germany. I, we talked a few days before. <clears throat> I have I have one question. Sure. Um, you offered uh, also to make maybe uh, so this isn't really new uh, with groups maybe to to make one meeting appointment maybe with you um, would it be possible that I contact you and make an, an agreement um, make this so meeting with you in in, in a group an uh, investor group here in Germany. Yeah, well, all, again, all you have to do, that's why I, cre I added that in as well. So on the website now, um, just, just go to the go to the about the CEO section. Yes, yes. OK, um, open it up and then just scroll to the bottom and um, you'll see right here will be a con the meeting with me. I'll just contact me and I'll reply through there because it, it's a lot harder for me because I have people that message me on one platform, for example, people yeah. on Facebook and some people message me on Discord and so it's hard in Instagram. It's hard for me to keep up with all of that. So if I have everybody who wants to book a meeting with me, just come here, fill out the form. I can go to one place and read all of that and then respond easily. So it makes it more organized for me to be and then I'll be able to, um, you know, move things along faster and, and be able to schedule meetings a lot faster so that way. Yes, uh, I agree totally with you. We also say contact over, over, but I agree totally with you. This is a the right to have a, this channel only for for yes inquiries no? yes. yes okay thank you no problem. yeah um money 
I'm I here. Just I'm add something. Um, you mentioned that yeah, most likely you will add another um another chain of USD key, right? Um. Yeah. So so here with, here with that, with before, that. Everybody, before everybody before you go forward. So here here's our plans. I haven't talked about, it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it out now. Um. You know, because I like to be very honest and transparent with everybody. Our our goal, we're gonna have three, we will have three smart contracts. We're gonna have this is our first smart contract, which is on the uh on, on the BNB smart chain. Um our next smart, smart contract that will be released will be on the Tron network. And then our last contract that will be released will be on the Polygon network. All of them will be in USDT, just be on different networks. Um, and the reason why we're going to do that is so we can be global. You have some people around the world that don't like, you know, that don't use or don't like using uh, the BNB smart chain. We have people that like using the Tron network. We have people that like using Polygon network. So by us creating three contracts, um, and this is not coming immediately, but over time, that is our plan to have three contracts uh, because it'll allow us to be more global because uh, um, and bring in you know new people that want to be a part of it but may not uh, be comfortable with again BNB smart chain or may not be comfortable with uh, Tron and they're comfortable with polygon so those are the things that we have thought about and factored in and that's why we're gonna have three contracts in total and that will be it we'll have three and there will be no more and then that's that's you know that that'll be our final um, that'll be it when we'll just grow the contracts and and uh, continue. All of them will be the same. They'll never change. Uh, they'll all be 2%. We can't pay out more than 2%. Um, somebody asked me that earlier too. We can't pay out more than 2% because um, it's too risky. It, it's too risky. Yes, we, we are. Uh, the facts are that we can produce, you know, for anywhere from 4 to 10% on trades. But um, you have to consider taking into consideration that we have business expenses, you know, um, hosting the websites that costs money every month. Um, you know, all, all of the other things, um, the things that I have going cost money. So I pay for things on a monthly basis. I do have business expenses to keep this going. So I have to take that into consideration. Um, the traders that we have analyzing the bots in the background, they have to be paid all of these, you know, all of these different things. So, uh, you know, you that, in my garage. yeah, so that's, um, that you know, that's, that's my point behind. Can okay. you, can you meet your mic? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's kind of my point behind that as far as that goes. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and take your question. Okay. No, um, because um, not, well, my experience okay. in the DeFi space and yes, and crypto, when when they have like, for example, multiple chains and thing, one would be more popular than the rest now. But as you now mentioned there, that with the trade and thing, it will you know grow. Um naturally you know the contract will grow naturally so that right. trumps what i said there and um what it, also what you said with the trading with um that yeah trade and make like 10 percent. i actually said that in the chat today because a, a lot of people um don't understand some people don't understand how you can make more than two percent per day on a trade yeah, right. yeah, I, I, and I see it all the time. I see YouTubers making making videos. Oh, that you know, um, it's a scam because they're paying out such high. How can they afford? It? How can they able to pay out two percent a day or this and that? Um, if, if anybody who's a real trader, anybody who's I'm a, a trader, trader trades crypto knows that they can easily, if they're a good easy. trader, they have experience, right. they can easily produce five percent a day easily. So I make ten. I I, I tell them go, I make. I make ten percent today on a trade today, and I just in right. one day. And we have five days. We, well, if it's crypto, seven days for the for the week, four weeks in a month. Yeah, that's nice. That's a lot. That's a lot of profits, right? Yeah, that's so. really good. Yeah, there's and there's a lot of ways. You know, um, like I said, bots help out with that. We use bots, so that helps out a lot. But um, we have to make sure those bots get get um, you know, are getting watched because they can. There's it's software; they can malfunction. So that's why we have traders that are constantly analyzing the bots at all times. Because if something happens, we can't we can't lose on trades. Uh, we're we're dealing with, you know, now we're in the mid, we're over a million, so we can't um, you know, we definitely can't be playing with money like that. Yeah. So you have a good idea. I I understand the idea because I'm a trader too. So let's push forward, bro. Push forward. I support you fully. 
you know, we speak the same language. So yeah, push forward. Thank yes, you. but many. But the thing yeah. is, I think a two percent percent is is okay. If you try to give the people more, the people are more scared, and you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Correct. This is the thing. I think two percent is so the limit what you can say. So this is not a Ponzi scheme. So because I also I, I'm honest. I in the beginning I also thought about how oh, you give ref and also on, but I don't know. So, so in in inside trading, but I, uh, every day I get more trust with you, you know, about um, the system and what's behind there, because you are transparent and you show trades, you show, you try to, to show things what other people don't think, don't, don't show, you know, uh, and I think it's the, the, the right way to, to catch the people. Yeah? Right. Investors. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's, that's all I want to show everybody. And I, I know a lot of it, it's going to take time, but um. You know, like I said, we're only time will be able to you know, show people yes. that uh, how serious this project is. So, I mean, I know that this is, you know, me personally, I can say that I know it's going to last. But um, me saying that is not going to take away from people thinking that it may not last. So the only thing that's going to going to really show and prove that it is, is time. Yes. Yes. So I, I came in a little late. If, if somebody asked this already, I do apologize. but um. But I just a couple things real quick. Sure. Um, first, how how big is your team? Like, how many people are on the team? Um, are you talking about including admins, including traders, everything? Yes. Um, currently, right now, we have about uh, I would say about twenty uh, in total. Uh, well, about twenty twenty three twenty four people on our team now. In the background, yeah, because I know you were talking about bringing on chains and things. I know it, it's a lot to manage, so I wanted yeah. to ask. Yeah, it definitely so. is, and we're going to be bringing more people on. We also have a live chat feature that we're going to be adding to the site that will help out as well. Uh, with you know, people may come to the site and they want to get their questions answered. They might have a question while they're on the site, and by having a live chat feature, um, you know, it just helps to get they can, they can get their question answered right away. So we're going to have live chat live chat cool. agents as well. So that's something that we're going to be. Um, we're going to be also hiring as well. It'll just help the project. Awesome. And my second quick question is, since you're going to be, you're already dealing with millions, but it'll be more and more millions. <laughs> and I've watched many of your videos and, and I, I love where you're coming from and why you started this. But heaven forbid something should happen to you. What is the contingency plan? So I have, um, well, first I have a, uh, uh, my will and testament, but that's, you know, that's, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what that is, but um, <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, as far as, I, mean I, I know it's a hard question. I don't mean to, I don't want anything to happen to you. I, I like you. I think you're a good guy. But obviously, when you're dealing with a lot of money, you want to find out what would happen. Right. So if something happened to me, I do have things set in place. I have my, uh, for example, my wife who knows how to, for if, if something happened to me, essentially what would happen is obviously we would have to stop everything because nobody can run this like I can. Um, you know, I, I create it's it took me six months before we even got this off the ground and there's so many things that i know that no i i couldn't teach anybody in a matter of a week so um essentially what would happen is my my wife um i even have family members behind her so i have i have it set in place to if something ever happened to me that um all investors would be paid out whatever they put into the platform so any deposits that were made into the platform everybody would just be paid out and it would be shut down but i love that answer can i most people would say, oh, would someone's here that you run it. But the fact that you're honest about how you cannot teach somebody who you are or what you do is thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> just, uh, just a question, uh, Manny. Sorry, I know I keep uh, bugging you. Um, and I hope you don't die, by the way. I'd like you to keep going. Um, uh, I hope not either. I have, I, have, <laughs> I have four kids that love me. I mean, my kids are just so young, under 18. So, I mean, I, I, I would never want that to happen. Now then, just one other thing for you to think about. If if and when in a year's time this happens, you understand how big this is going to be. I just want you to understand the gravitas of how the, how big this this particular platform will get. Because there'll be other platforms at the moment that potentially may not be here, and everybody will gravitate to this platform. Um, and you know, it's going to be a monster of a platform for you. Now, bear, bear that in mind. What happens, just one other thing. Let's just for argument's sake, you have three days where you only make 1%, 1%, uh, 0, and 1%, shall we say, four days. 
Um, are you going to have like a little pot on the side just as a, as a, if you have a few bad days? So, so yeah, that's, a, that's a very good question. And that's, uh, I'm glad you asked it. So everybody can listen and hear what the answer to it. Um, so essentially what I'm doing right now, um, and this is something that I just started doing this week. So from the trading we're doing, sometimes we get, um, trades where we're getting 10%, 8% take profit. So obviously we're only 2% would go out to the investors. Um, the fact that we're taking some percentage of the profits um, and what we're doing is putting them into basically like a reserve account. So if something ever was to, let's say the market, we had a big market crash or something happened that was just unexpected, um, we would still be able to sustain through months of being in that situation. So if the market crashed and just had a, a crazy, you know, you saw the market months ago, um, months back. So if something crazy ever happened, uh, look at that, and we only produced one cent or a half a percent a day, um, we would have the money. We would have to pull from, uh, funds from the reserve and um, use those to make sure that we can sustain. So we have we've I've we've we've thought about every possible uh, scenario. <laughs> yeah, that, that that single answer on this whole AMA is just filled with a, with a massive, and I'm sure everybody else on this AMA has just gone, wow, because that was probably one of the burning questions. Uh, generally, you, if there is a bad market, it's generally a week or two or three, and then it picks up again uh, at some stage level that starts to climb up the, the right way for you. So for you to say that, that was the most single uh, important thing I've ever heard on a platform such as this that there's obviously uh, you know fantastic thank you and that's you know that's these are the things that we, that's why it took us six months i mean i spent six months like i was saying before um we ran numbers we we try to go over every possible scenario both good and bad um because i mean this is this is crypto you know it, it's it's the most riskiest um market to be in in my opinion and you have to be ready for everything and anything I have a question. <clears throat> yes. So for your next two projects, is it going to be the same low fee entry or it's going to be mid or high? Um, as far as the, um, the, right. So yeah, they're going to stay 50, 50. Yeah. Nothing will change. Um, everything will stay the same. The only thing it'll be on a different network. Okay, thank you, because that helps an average Joe like me, you know, invest. We may, we may even just, just, and I just, I haven't made a decision on this, but we may even have it to where the minimum deposit may be even 100 USDT. And the reason why is because um, the problem that it, the problem that arises when you have such a low, uh, you know, your minimum so, so low, then the deposit minimum so low is that it attracts the wrong people. And I don't mean to say that in a wrong way, but um, exactly. those, that's when you're going to have more people that are going to be requesting, I want my money back. I want my money back because they, those are, for the most part, those are people who don't really understand um, what investing really is. They don't understand the power of compounding um, and things like that. So um, we want to make sure that we're attracting the right crowd. If that makes sense. Exactly. That's, that's great. Manny, will this recording be on the Discord channel? Um, will it be? Well, I know somebody. Uh, yeah, I have somebody recording it, so I'm gonna get the recording from them afterwards. Thank you. Yeah, somebody that's on here is recording. Manny, uh, sorry. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, this is, this is Bosse. Um, Manny, you're doing a fantastic job. Just keep on pressing forward. Your team is behind you. No issues. Um. The first thing I wanted to ask is these other two contracts, PRC20 and on the Polygram network. Um, yes. If, for example, you're already on the Binance chain, smart chain network that we started now, the current one, and the other two come on board, would that, and we join those two, would that constitute multiple accounts or not? Um. Do you mean would it affect th this your account here? Well, right now we're not allowed to have more than one account here. So when when the TRD20 comes on the Polygram 
Polygon Network one comes on the two new contracts. If we choose to also invest on the two other uh, networks, having already had one here, would that constitute multiple accounts or not? Um, no, well, it wouldn't be. No, you'd be able to do it all from one account because it's on different networks. Okay. So you have to add in into your MetaMask, for example, or Trust Wallet. You would have to add that network um, into your account. Um, and then secondly, uh, what you were saying before, um, yeah, we, we say that we, you know, only one account allowed, but the reality is that we don't have control over every, anybody's wallet, you know? Um, and that's what everybody has to understand. We are just, we have the smart contract. We have the interface, um, that you connect your wallet to, but essentially you're in control of your own wallet. So there's nothing stopping people from making multiple accounts. And that's the reason why we added in that 12% um you know full deposit withdrawal fee because we didn't um we lose so much money because we have so many people requesting uh to be to withdraw their full deposit and we're losing money every time they every time they do that by not having a fee they could have three four accounts we don't know that if they do or don't i totally support your 12 percent um fee um and when I first announced it i think i was one of the first people that supported it and based you for your vigilance, I understand the thinking and the logic behind it and its steps. The only reason I ask that question is that I don't want to contradict any of the rules in 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 the respect of having multiple contracts. If that's uh, multiple accounts, if that's not, allowed. but you've clarified it now that it's all from the same you know account anyway. Which contract you deposit in? The other right. question I wanted to ask is that I understood that. You know, you have contingency plans for when, um, if something happens to you, God forbid, because you'll live a very long, and beautiful, and healthy life, and to see your grandchildren and great grandchildren. I but, really pray so. Amen. Really yeah, that's our wish. But um, when, if anything should happen, you have to plan place that will. Um, stop the contract and pay out investors. The only thing I like to consider for the future, Manny, on that on that response that many here already are thinking of CGT as a general wealth project and are thinking about it as a legacy project, are thinking about it as a project to stop the and bring wealth to the uh, Etc. So there are things that you can put. In the the mic. Yeah, can someone please mute? Yeah, her her um her. Yeah, it's getting sorted now. Yeah, I there said that because many people are thinking of CTT, a CGT as a self as a legacy project, you know, as stopping generational, as creating gen generational wealth and stop, stopping poverty worldwide. In the chat, you would have seen yourself that many people are already thinking about, you know, um, sharing this with their families and their children and their children's children and all of that. I understand when you said the contract would stop if something happened to you, but I would be asking you to please, in the future, think about how to make it a self-perpetrating project so that it can remain regardless of what happens to you, myself, or any of us investors here today, that a project this good can still exist uh, and supersede the life of its uh, creators. So it's just a thought. I, and I, I definitely uh, hear you on that. Um, but my only problem with that is that, um, you know, it's it, it'd be very hard, This a project like this, um, couldn't run on its own. It, there's just no way for it to ha be like that. Um, there's problems that always arise. There's always things that need to be done. You know, I, um, and I know that me, because I'm behind this, I, I trust myself. So I know that when I say something um, about the project, that it's coming from me because I'm, uh, it's, it's, I'm running it in the background. Um, but it's the day, if it ever did happen, God forbid, um, you know, there's just, I don't see how I don't see how anybody could run it the way that I'm running it, um, and and also run it in in a in the in a trustworthy way. Um, I would say I don't know if I could ever trust anybody to really run it, um, tr and trust them to run it. 
um you know because especially you're you're you know i i have to look after the project's um reputation as well in mind so uh, that would be something i definitely have to really really think about <laughs> i hear you um in relation to the thank you money for that very honest response as usual i didn't expect anything less so thank you for that in relation to the live thank you love in relation to the live chat agents would you be able to announce that somewhere because i think i've indicated an interest to serve in that position so i would be looking out for any uh updates you have on that i'd be grateful for that yeah so what i'm going to do is when we once we start to implement the live chat i'm going to create a form uh, or a quick site and it's going to have a form on it uh and, and there'll be a link to where anybody who wants to be or apply to be a live chat agent can just go to that site and fill out the form and um submit it and i will review everybody's request and i'll pick uh from that point i'll pick who who the live chat agents will be it's it'll make it a lot easier for me so that's how i'm going to end up doing it thank you very much manny god bless you thank you, uh, you mr. Manny. yes uh, mr Manny. yeah please and i'm also I, I also have a suggestion that when you do have when you do apply as they call it and uh, google accent to your website how do you think about that also uh what is it i'm sorry can you say it again uh yeah i mean when you, when you add google accent to your website ads ads to your website to generate income to maintain the site what do you think about that also adding ads yes your website no there's not going to be any ads on the website oh yeah i'm here yeah there won't be any ads okay. on the website okay oh. hey, me, me, you hear me, me? hey how's it going well and how you doing what's going on bro? how my neighbor doing <laughs> listen listen you know i love you you know we're in the states and you know how this day gets stupid so far so listen you're making a lot of noise which is nice but also can be bad you feel me so I what you mean are, are you protecting yourself legally because you know how the states get stupid sometimes and i don't want nobody go knocking at your door so i need you to protect yourself right correct yeah definitely am um and i'll give you a call i was going to call you tonight so I'll, I'll give you a call later on but yeah i'm definitely like i said i got my financial team i'm doing everything that i should be doing um okay in the right way so i don't see any issues arising obviously you know that's like like i said before earlier in in the you know here in the ama i mean they when it comes to projects like this and it gets really big um you know let's say we get into the 25 50 million uh mark up there you know obviously the, mm -hmm. there's always going to be some type of um government agency mm -hmm. trying to get to every every detail of the project so i'm definitely mm -hmm um that's definitely something i know is coming um and i'm just i'm making sure i'm trying to make sure that i'm doing everything the way i should to uh well, be compliant as possible that's that's all okay. i can really do you got it brother you got it thank you yep hey Benny, how's it going hey, how you doing? i'm doing good Hey, hey, hey uh, first off, I just want to thank you for uh, for this cool project you got going. I mean, it's, I just joined last night, so I'm a newcomer, but um, I'm excited about it. Um, I, I love your vibe. You're totally transparent, and, um, you know, I, I'm really digging it. But my, I just wanted to get your general thoughts on, like, the space of DeFi. I know you said, like, there's 95% of these projects are Ponzi's and stuff, but, you know, there are some good integrity projects out there and some good integrity people out there trying to build on this and stable and sustainable projects um you know for us to all be put our, do some weird crazy stuff with our crypto and you know just hopefully live a prosperous life and then you know you're you're um, you're contributing to that whole space and so i just wanted to ask like obviously like this is successful and um you know there's going to be loads of people that are going to try to mimic it or you know um like how do you see the whole evolution of just jet DeFi in general and you know how's crypto gem trading going to be like forward thinking and you know be able to grow as well with the whole space um well, well first off i i just want to say from your from what you started with um yeah i mean i i, I agree that there are you know honest people out here um that that are trying to create um great projects um and you know 
shout out to those who are. I mean, there's not, but it's very few of us. I'll tell you that compared to the amount of people that are trying to just take people's money. Um, so yeah, I, I would say there's a lot of, a lot of good people. There are good people in this, in the community, in the DeFi space. And, um, I mean, as far as, uh, our project goes, I mean, all, all we can do is just, is, is to try to continue to be, um, continue to show everybody that we're, you know, that we're doing what we say we're doing and, and just trying to be a part of the community. I mean, I don't, um, uh, I don't know what answer you want me from me as far as, um, anything else goes. Um, I just try to focus on our project and growing our project. I know there's a lot of other projects in the DeFi space that are doing their thing and uh, shout out to them. Um, but yeah, I just try to focus on, on our project and, and growing everything we have here. Okay. Thank you. And, and my next question is, um, as far as liquidity, you know, if this project gets to ridiculous numbers as, um, like, are we, are you trading in like markets that, you know, are going to be deep in liquidity and will any of that stuff ever be an issue? And, and, and thank you once again. Yeah. So, so essentially just, that's a good question. So, so right now what we're doing, everything we're doing is, is pretty much, um, trading, everything is trading in USDT. So we get, we get USDT, and obviously we're trading in, in multiple. So we have, um, you know, trades going where we have different pairs. So we might have USDT and uh, BTC. So we're doing many different pairs. We're looking at, um, we, that's, that's what we have the traders there for. They're analyzing the market, seeing what's going on. Um, we try not to, you know, jump into trades as far as pairs go, um, you know, in, 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 in ones that are, you know, doing really bad at a certain time of the year, a certain time of the month. Um, but again, it's just all analyzing the market. The market is crazy. So, uh, it can go up and down from one day to the next one week to the next. And we just try to analyze the traders, try to analyze everything and, and, uh, make the best decisions we can. How are you doing, Manny? I'm doing good. All right. Yeah. I know we had this conversation before and uh, I know a lot of people weren't able to attend that last call and it was recorded. But, uh, you know, you created an absolute machine that's, uh, you know, it's turned into a monster. And, um, you know, this, this, this thing is getting global really found quickly. And, you know, so I just want to put this question out there again so everyone can hear is uh, when do you plan on starting to develop um, other uh, channels for different languages? Um, I don't have a set time. Um, right now, we're just trying, I mean, we're, we're trying to get all the stuff we got planned. You know, we have everything kind of planned out, um, but obviously we run a cross issues just like any other product in the background we got a lot of issues that we uh come across every single day we have to fix those issues um we have uh you know times where we have to you know for example that yesterday i was in meetings all day long um i had over five meetings yesterday uh with multiple teams um so it just we're doing one step at a time and um we'll just that's all i can really say i mean hopefully i would say as an estimate, though, I would say in the next two weeks, I'm going to start to create uh, different channels for different languages in this language, um, in all different languages, so that way uh, we can different groups or different languages. So um, I'm going to have that all set up in the next couple of weeks. All right, appreciate that. There's no rush or anything like that. I just know that, you know, with those other um, uh you know, those channels being created for the different languages is going to be able to create more market to bring on a material to be able to reach to more people around the globe as well. And no rush, you're doing a good job. I appreciate everything that you do. Take care. All right, thanks. Hi, Manny. How you doing? Hi, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing all right. <laughs> First, I just want to say congratulations, man. Like, this contract is growing so fast, and I think, you know, we can all agree that we're all really blessed and um you know appreciate you know um being able to be part of this project so early so um i've got a question um that's, it might be a different one but um i actually got this question my family i know how to it so you know um so you know as the contract grows and you know the um crypto gem trading becomes you know a household name you, you know you, you know that you're going to obviously attract some bad actors in the space you know some more malicious people and i guess it's okay when these people have much smaller wallets but what about um the possibility of people who can like you know are able to let's say drop let's say like 300k into this into this protocol straight away um and we all know that like there's there's as as investors there's sustainable ways that we can take profits and there's not sustain and there's unsustainable ways that we can take profits so like you know in a situation where like you know someone comes in with 300k they're in the project for 
you know, they just compound for like three months. They could have turned that to over a mil. And, you know, if they then say to, to you, you know, um, we want to take all that mill out all at once and, you know, multiple people do this. Could you see this being a problem? You know, start, like draining the contracts? If it's- no, I actually, I, I actually know. I actually would see it as a good thing because all that's going to do is give us more money to trade with. And we'll be able to produce more profits and, and pump more back into the contract that they decide they want to take out. You know, we can have somebody right now putting uh, a million on the contract, one person. Um, all they're doing is helping to sustain the project because now we have more funds to, uh, again, we take out 25 to 50% per week. So now we have more funds to play with in trading. And um, that gives us more money in trading, which in turn will give us more take profits and, and more money to put back onto the contract. So if they decide to uh, three, four months down the road, take out everything, that's fine. We'll, we'll just keep going. It's, uh, it's not going to affect us. I don't see the okay. way. Okay, fair enough. That's that's good to hear. So you so you you you're pretty confident that you know even if that person put a million and you know it, it grew to let's say I think that it would grow to about ten mil in just over three months. Do you reckon that the contract will still be able to sustain that sort of um that sort of you know you know um um withdrawal withdrawal that large? Yes, correct. Because we we'd be trading a lot with a lot more funds um and producing a lot more take profits. So we'd have it would the contract they would help the contract grow to an enormous amount. Um, just from what they're putting in, and then uh, from all those take profits we're putting back in, you know, th- those are funds that are going back on the contract. And if they decide they want to take out one day, that's fine because we've already um, utilized so much funds for trading and pumped back so much in that it, it won't affect the contract. Okay, that sounds that sounds really good. <clears throat> no, thanks for that. Yeah, that's a great answer. That that I think that gives everyone um, a lot of confidence in this project. So, <clears throat> yeah, thanks for that, Manny. No problem. Hello, um, Manny. That 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 goes to the twelve percent as well, right? Um, what is that? So if they if they that well the the scenario that that guy just just um mentioned. Yeah, and that's that's another thing too. Yeah, to remember twelve percent. Yeah, if somebody took if wanted to, they put in um whatever amount, large amount, and let's say they had uh a million in deposits and they wanted to request to take that out, they could request it and they would get that within seven to fourteen days. But they'd have to remember too there'd be a twelve percent fee deducted from that. So yeah. yeah. So are we are we so we getting a gift? So if a hundred of them do it, we just get a nice chunk of tax. <laughs> that that is all right. Yeah, so if that will win you take your money and you get thanks yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah so so those those people and that's what you call well well they, that and the thing we thought about every single um wells the only thing they would do is help the project to be honest with you long term they would help the project you know what happened i know where all these questions came from me. remember remember back back in the days when we used to have a smart contract we, we were afraid to be wells. Remember that because they, they came up, they came out, they did the contract. Right. But and that's only because that's only because of the fact that uh, those all those contracts weren't producing any real profits. Right. They were just policy relying on people coming in. Correct. And uh, so this is a different scenario. This is like if I come out with a million dollars, you'd be like, hey, well, hey, hey, you're you are very welcome, brother. You know, exactly. <laughs> so it's like funding, funding. So yeah, yeah, I, I know what people is afraid, but good to know, good to know. Sure. <laughs> appreciate that. Yes.
Um, that would, yeah, that would be a really, a really bad scenario. But, um, you know, I, that, that's something again, that, that what we're doing is at this current moment is we're taking, uh, a lot of the take profits, uh, percentages we're getting. Cause again, we can produce anywhere from four up to 10% a day. And, uh, we're taking that and we're putting in uh, into a reserve account. Um, but in that scenario, that would be something you know, that would be something where you would have, you know, anybody who had a contract on their network, it would just be on hold. Just like what happened, uh, what, it's been a week now, um, when the BNB smart chain had that six, oh, what, $600 million hack. Um, you know, it would just put everything on hold, but the funds wouldn't go anywhere. I mean, the funds would still be there. It would just be on hold. And, and at that point, there's obviously, there's nothing that we could do. That we would just have to wait for it to for them to resolve the, the issue and get back and going and and they will um you know they're they're dealing with you know trillions 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 of trillions of of, of money in crypto you know uh bnb smart chain alone so um they would you know they would figure it out there, there wouldn't be a i don't think there would ever be a point where they there wouldn't be anything that you know just everybody's who was all using their 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 network would uh, it would just disappear. You know, the funds would disappear. That just, that's just something that would not happen. That would be a big lawsuit. That would be, um, that would be, that would be really crazy. So I, I don't see that ever happening. Yeah, we do. We already have some things in works um, as we speak. Um, I have some things we're going to be changing up. Um, for example, locations um, of where we have our uh, our company now, um, just because there's more. You you have states that are more friendly crypto than others, so we're making adjustments as we speak right now. Uh, we've already looked into that. Financial team is working on it. We're going to be moving out. Um, we're not going to be having it in Florida. We're going to be moving to another state. Uh, that is really crypto friendly um, and allows us to operate a lot easier so we don't have to go through all of the, you know, it's just the struggles that um, some states, uh, you know, give. So we, we have all that plan. That's something that we're working on. And over the next week, um, we're, we're definitely going to be in a different state as well. Yep. Um, you know, you know, do you know what, Manny? The irony of this com the, the irony of this AMA. By the time the end of this week comes, the contract balance will probably jump jump up another three hundred thousand just just because of this AMA. <laughs> it could definitely do that, um, and that's uh, you know, I, I'm, like I said, I just I want to be transparent with everybody and and be answer as many questions as I possibly can, um, and just let everybody know that I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um. Manny, I have a question with regards to, um, you know, how we had attacks on the website and I'm sure as you, we get popular, there's going to be more is, is there, obviously you also explained that the funds haven't been affected. Uh, can you elaborate on what you're doing there, please? Yeah. So the sites are, are completely separate from the smart contract The site is just the interface. Um, just so you for those of you that don't know a smart contract you can interact with a smart contract on its own you don't need even need a website to be able to do withdrawals to be able to do deposits you don't need it you can do that all from the contract alone so the contract is separate from the site the site is just the interface uh it makes it easier for users um you guys to be able to use it uh for those of you that don't know how to use the actual contract but you can go to the contract come over here contract uh write contract and you can connect your wallet connect web3 and you can easily go to payout and you can do a withdrawal and withdraw your earnings so um a contract is you're able to communicate the contract is on its own the only thing this the site is is just simply the interface that we've connected to the smart contract to make it user friendly So no. as far as that goes, um, if, if something, obviously there's, you know, you're always going to have um, the issue with, especially as we grow people, you know, who are going to try to do more DD, uh, DDoS attacks on site. 
Um, and I do have all the sites do now have uh, DDoS protection on them. All of them do. Um, I believe that's one of the reasons why we haven't had the, the issue lately over the last week. But there's still always a chance, even with DDoS protection, there's always a chance that um, they can get through that. Um, especially uh, really good hackers, really good people who know what they're doing um, can easily, you know, we could easily have a DDoS attack that comes through and could knock down one of our sites for a day. They can't do it forever. The thing is, it costs money for them to do that. They're not doing that for free. It costs them a crap load of money. And the only the reason they do that is so that they can knock down your site and then come to you and message you saying, hey, I'm the one that's doing this DDoS attack on your site. I want $10,000. Pay me and I will remove. I will stop. And, um, you know, I've already had that happen once to me. The guy wanted $10,000. Um, I told him, hell no, I'm not giving you a dime and uh, blocked him. And a day later, it was gone. Obviously, I do contact my hosting company that hosts my sites. And they are in the background. The, the tech team on my hosting company is also working to fight off the attacks as well. So as things like that happen, we're, we, we try to be on top of it as quick as possible. But... Just to make it clear, um, the interface, the website, has nothing to do with the contract. So if somebody, if the site goes down, it goes down. We still have the contract. The funds are still safe. They're trying to blackmail you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's it going? So we are... Um, I got about what we got here. Thir I got 13 more minutes and then I'm going to hop off. Cool. I've got uh, three very specific questions. Okay. Um, the, oh, the first one is um, I see the, the merch and that looks awesome, man. That is so cool. Uh, uh, and I'm just wondering, I didn't actually go in and ha I just had a very quick look. Um, is there a possibility we can pay for that with our USDT in the future? Yes, that, that is something that we're definitely going to be um, getting into. Yeah, we, we definitely want to be able to make it to where, and that's where I have to go ahead and switch over the merch to a different um, web provider um, that allows us to do that. But yeah, um, that is that is something we have in the works. We want to be able to allow everybody to be able to purchase the merch using USDT since we're already operating in USDT to make things a lot easier for everybody. So yeah, we do have that in the works. I, I believe that'll be, we'll have that all set up within the next uh two weeks two weeks to three weeks tops we should have that where um you'll be able to purchase the merch um using usd okay awesome the second thing is that the email acknowledgement or the email um contract at the bottom of the screen at the bottom of your page yes um so i've submitted personally something in there i was wondering just in the future can we get some kind of acknowledgement by email that our request has been received yeah so um yeah that's something that uh today i actually got with uh, i had to go ahead and get some new a new support team um the one that i had wasn't doing what they were supposed to do so i had to get rid of them um and i had a few meetings today with a few new individuals i had to actually go and interview these people because i didn't want in just anybody coming in um because they say you know like I, I that's what i did originally and it ended up not working out so i decided to just you know what i'm gonna have meetings with these people um to let them know what i need them to do if they can do it great if they can't well then i find somebody who can so that's what i did today so um from here moving forward starting tomorrow um any any messages any um emails that are sent or any anytime a form is filled out on the site uh we will be responding to them quickly starting tomorrow okay cool so i, I submitted one on the first and i know the struggle if we just keep submitting it creates just a headache for your guys support yeah, well, no, it, it'll reason. be fine. Start, starting tomorrow, I have all the support team that I need. So um, e even if we get 100 emails a day or 100 people filling out to contact us today, we're going to be responding. Our, our support team will be responding quickly. Okay, awesome. And just the last one was, in the future, um, would, you, would you be looking at an app um, to connect to the wallet, to your wallets? Because that way, then, if they bring all these CryptoGem XYT websites, um, it wouldn't be, we, we wouldn't get any confusion, right? If we had a net that we could link directly to our MetaMask or or Trust Wallet, um, yeah, I haven't I haven't thought about that one yet. Um, obviously, re regardless of what we create, people can duplicate it. Whether it's an app, whatever it is, people can duplicate it. You have people that are, um, and it's sad to say, um, I, I personally don't understand why these people don't use their skills for good things. 
they'd rather use their skills for, you know, doing the crap they do, uh, which sucks. But uh, again, there's always, no matter what we create, there's always going to be people out there that are going to try to duplicate it and uh, they have the skill set to do it. We can't stop them from doing that. All we can do is just notify people, let them know, look, these are our sites. Um, this is what we have. That's why we have, um, when you first connect, anybody, new depositors or new people come in and they connect our site to their wallet, there's a pop-up that comes up and lets them know that our only sites are .com, .net, and .io. So um, all we can really do is try to do our best to let people know what our sites are and not to uh, ever use any other sites outside of that. Yep, cool. Awesome. Thanks for that. No problem. Yeah, um, the easiest just for that to work, Manny, is for people to stay inside the group. You don't get information outside the group because people, anything that outside the group will be very scanny. So if anybody not sure, there's a stay in the Discord group and ask people who are in the project itself. Right, That's the most easy thing to do. Right, correct. And also never, you know, if you get messages from somebody on Discord and, you know, it's somebody saying, hey, you know, trying to get you to join this or trying to get you to join that or even pretending to be me and trying to get you to join anything i listen i would never mess direct message anybody on on um on discord or anywhere trying to offer them to join anything or to send me money or to anything like that the only time that i um i send anybody a message directly on discord is me responding to you uh responding to you after you've messaged me first so I would never direct message anybody um, first. Um, I would never do that. So if anybody ever does that it, it's and tries to impersonate me, that's just, no, that's a scammer. All right, so I'll take, uh, let me see what we got here. I got, uh, I have eight minutes and then I have to hop off. Any more questions? Um, can I share this? I mean, this would be on your YouTube and I'm able to share it with friends and family so they can get more information about the project. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can definitely share it. Okay, thank you. No problem. So, uh, Manny, you will um, pin the, the AMA so that uh, we can share well, the... Well, this, the, the AMA is not is not being recorded directly through Discord. I have somebody here on the AMA that's recording in the background. Yeah. Um, so from there, basically, um, once they send over the recording to me, I can post a recording. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, man. It's been the best AMA I've ever had. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I think we will have uh, many AMAs, many. Hello, Manny. Uh, there's a question inside of the uh, live chat. Uh, that I think that would be a question. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's from Zeka. It says, I have a question. Can it be possible to merge two family accounts without 12% penalty fees? Merge two family accounts? I guess it's uh, two separate accounts. And I don't know uh, what exactly he's trying to do, but it's, it's, it's just a question right there. It said that can it be possible to merge two family accounts without you know, doing a 12%. So I guess what he's trying to do uh, is you can't, you can't take the funds out of one account and then put it into another. No, you can't, you can't merge two accounts together. There's no way to do that. Yeah, because they're two, right. they're two different accounts. They have two different wallet addresses. They're, they're totally separate from each other. Yeah, see, I, I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to take the funds out of one account and move it all to one, uh, to, to the main account, and, you know, without a 12% penalty. He's trying to move over from one. Yeah, it'd be almost impossible for us to do that without the fee because, again, um, if we allow people to do that, anybody could just come and say they're trying to move it. But, again, they could be, you know, again, they could just there, – there's so many things that could happen there in that process um, that can be issues. Oh, yeah, I, I completely understand yeah, that. I just wanted to put The reason why, again, is because they're two separate wallet addresses. They're, they're completely separate from each other. So on the on on the contract, I mean, when you look at um, if you go to BSC Scan, you know that's how if you go to BSC Scan and you type in right here at the top, 
you know, right here in the search, you type in your wallet address, it pulls up all your transactions. So anytime you just put in your own wallet, wallet address here, you can see all your transactions that you've done, um, you know, ever on, on the network. So they're two separate from each other. We can't, there's no way for us to, to you know, go back and forth without doing that 12%. Because again, we, we, we'd open ourselves up for fraud, people to be able to fraud the system. And it just will create a big so In this case right here, it'd be best just to wait out, you know, like maybe till you earn 14% and then you request to withdraw fully. And then you take the 12%, um, you know, hit for taking that withdrawal request, then move the funds over how you see fit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how I would do it. And, and I don't really understand why they'd want to transfer over because they're seeing a main account and another account. You know, you can have multiple accounts in your MetaMask or your trust wallet. You just create them right in there, right in, you know, under the same it's just different accounts but you create it all right there so i don't see why keep it in one account and then if you you know once you've earned enough you can just you know withdraw it and put it into the other account you know that's i don't i don't understand why that would create an issue like i said i we can't stop people from creating multiple accounts um because essentially like i said that's that's it's their wallet they can do that and that's why we have the 12 percent fee because even if somebody creates two three wallets um and they want to withdraw if for them to be able to withdraw from that one wallet, we charge 12%. They want to withdraw from another wallet, we charge another 12% on that because they're totally separate from each other. Oh, yeah, completely understand. I just I was asking that question for him uh, because he asked that in the chat. Yeah, no problem. All right, I got uh, time for a few here. Minutes. I saw the light. Um, I just want to, I don't have any question. I just want to say, hey, Oh, thank you so much for your uh, for this great idea. I've been scammed. I've been scammed a lot, and now I feel like you know I have something on hand that I I, I should really invest in. Uh, I just want to say one more thing. Uh, long live crypto gem trading. Seriously, long live crypto gem trading because this is a solid project. Thank, thank you so you, much. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it. All right, I have time for one, two more questions, then I'm going to hop off here. Uh, Can you hear me? Through the live uh, medium. What's yeah, the value? Of, a lot of people a lot of people don't understand about the value of NFT, how value it is. Are we going to be able to trade, to sell? Uh, how, 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 what's the deal with the NFT in the country? Correct. So we're going to be able to, when it comes to the NFTs, you will be able to, of course, it's, it's, it's completely up to you. So you'll be able to, if you want to just buy the NFTs and keep it as a collectible, you can. Um, obviously, as we grow, um, they would have more value to them long term, if you're thinking that way. Um, if you wanted to essentially, um, tr you know, if you wanted to essentially sell them, you can sell them. You know, you have the option to do as you please. Everybody's going to have their own opinion on what they should do with them. Um, personally, me, I will have uh, all, you know, we're going to have, mo we're going to have, I will have one each of each of NFT and I'm going to keep it for myself. Um, and then, of course, the the remaining will be sold and then um, people can decide what they want to do with it. But uh, I think they will create, you know, they'll create value as the project grows. The value of them will go up as the project grows. Uh, you know, once we become to a point where we're worldwide um, and we're everywhere, um, the value of, of the NFTs are going to skyrocket. Right, right. Long term investment. Sounds good, brother. Sounds good. Right. Will there be a chance to maybe like stake these at all or anything like that? Uh, for the NFTs? Yes. Just to kind of give them an incentive to be collected. Um, yeah, that's something we may be working on. I was talking to um, a, a few few people about that. Um, we haven't. That's that's just uh, we've just started up that conversation. So um, that's something that I have to look into and see if that's worth worth doing. You know, any anytime we make a move, we have to run numbers. We have to see if it makes sense. If it doesn't, um, so all of that has to be taken into consideration first, and then from there we we'll make a decision on what we do.
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off the AMA. Um, I just want to say I appreciate all of you hopping on. I love all the questions um, this evening. Um, we're going to have our AMAs every uh, – we're probably going to be doing them every Monday moving forward. That's originally what I said. So we'll be having them every Monday uh, moving forward at 5 p.m. EST time. So thank you all who uh, hopped onto the AMA. I uh, really appreciate all of our supporters, all of the people who helped the contract get to where it's at now. We thank you. And um, – we're going to continue, as as I always say, to do everything we possibly can uh, to continue to be transparent with all of the investors, you guys, and also to continue to do uh, what needs to be done in the background to make sure this project lasts uh, for years to come. Thank you, brother. God Amazing. bless you. Amazing. Appreciate it, my name. Bye, my name. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Greetings to from Germany to, to Florida. <laughs> okay, thank you. Talk to you guys. <laughs> I'm from Spain. Ah, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Uh, with greetings from the Philippines, Mr. Manny. Philippines. Yeah, from New Zealand. Zealand. New Zealand times two. Trinidad and Tobago. So let's rock. Let's from go. the UK. Oh, uh, garam. Ada orang di masaknya pakai sambal. Tak kali dapat tu kali. Dah. Kan mata kali. Kalah tu. Rasa. Ia dicari cakwa kan? Tahu. Kita makan. Kalau coba 